How many microbes do you have in your soil? These days, gardeners are talking a lot about the importance of microbes in soil, and they are important. But how do you know if you have enough? How do you know how many you do have? There's really no easy way for you to get that information. Even in a laboratory, it's difficult to measure. But there are a couple simple ways for gardeners to get an estimate of the microbes in their garden. Now, with a lot of experience, you can tell just by playing with the soil. But for most gardeners, that doesn't work. That takes years of experience. One way to get an estimate is to count the number of dewworms. But in this program, I'm going to show you another way that's a whole lot more fun. This is the tidy whitey soil test, and it gives you an indirect measurement of how many microbes you have in your soil. Now, when I first seen this online, I thought, oh, this is just a joke. But it actually works quite well, and it's actually used in some of the agricultural training sessions. If you have a healthy soil, you have lots of microbes. Microbes eat organic matter as their food source. So if we take some organic matter and put it in soil and measure how quickly it disappears, we get a measure of how many microbes we have. It turns out that white cotton underwear is organic matter. I mean, it's made from cotton and microbes will digest it just like any other organic matter. So here's what you do. Get yourself some white cotton underwear. If you want to be very precise, you can actually weigh the underwear before you start the experiment. But you'll get some pretty good results just by eyeballing the underwear and you don't have to weigh it. Take that underwear, bury it in the soil. Wait five weeks, dig it up, and have a look at it. What does it look like? Your frilly, silky panties might work well in the bedroom, but they don't work so well in this experiment. And thongs, there's just not enough material there to get a good reading. So stick to the big white cotton underwear. If most of the cotton is gone, and you're left with the elastic pieces, you have healthy soil and you have lots of micro. If most of the underwear is still there after five weeks, you got to start improving your soil. Keep adding organic matter to that soil and build up the micro population. I know this sounds like kind of a funny task, but it actually does work well. The South Dakota Soil Health Coalition used it to demonstrate the difference between till and no-till. Here are the results that they found. The weight of the underwear in the control, that's the underwear that wasn't buried, the weight was about 58 grams. In no-till soil, the weight was 28 grams, and in conventionally tilled soil, it was 51 grams. You can see that the no-till soil had more microbes, and they digested the underwear quicker. I think this is a fantastic test, and I want to thank some of the originators for this work. The soil test was developed by Anthony Bly and Sarah Berg from the South Dakota State University Extension, and the test was put into print by Kathy Vole using On Pasture. I have permission to use the photos and the tables, and I want to thank the gentleman who posed for these pictures. So let's say you go through the test and you just don't have enough microbes. What is the best way to improve your soil? If you want to know that, have a look at this video right here. And if you're interested in some other soil myths, you got to watch this. Happy gardening.